rules that kind of keep this psi, you know, the paranormal, kind of a low background level. And if it were to erupt up into a big level where it would attract a whole lot of attention and, and uh, have a big effect, then that just is prohibited. That's a beep, you know, sorry, you know, you don't have access to that, you can't go there. So there are also other rules that keep those things from happening. I remember reading something that one uh, um, psychic, one person who was very good, he could get into these databases, and he, uh, he tried uh, doing the lottery. And he said that he, on several occasions, would write down what he thought the lottery number was going to be, and he'd put it in a safe. And then after the lottery number, he wouldn't buy tickets or anything, he'd just put it in the safe. And then after the lottery was done, he'd pull it out, and sure enough, he wrote down the right lottery number. And he did this several times as proof. He'd put it in a safe that he couldn't open. And, you know, it, it was legitimate enough because he was able to do those kinds of things. But if he tried to buy a lottery ticket, it never worked. Well, that's the sci and certainty principle working for you, you know. It wouldn't work then because that was not allowed. It wasn't that it was not allowed for him to go look. It was not allowed for him to go take advantage of it because that's not how this reality frame works. You can't have people doing that here. That ruins it, you know, that's, uh, that ruins the game. You know, we're all in this game and we're all playing by the rules, and then if some people don't have to play by the rules, you know, they can make up their own rules. It kind of ruins the game for everybody. So there's rules that prohibit that sort of thing.